long before champion trainer Stephen Mark Asmussen acquired, developed, and conquered the racing world with a pair of modern-day racing marvels, his initial winter circle visits were a bit more modest. The son of Midwestern horseman Keith and Marilyn Asmussen, Steve was raised on the family's El Primero Training Center in Laredo, Texas, and is the younger brother to the Eclipse Award-winning and European champion jockey, Cash Asmussen. For a few years as a teenager, Steve also competed as a jockey until he physically outgrew a career in the saddle. The natural transition for Steve was to become a trainer. He became an Eclipse Award-winning trainer, and he shattered records along the way. Steve's first Remington Park win came on the opening weekend of Remington's inaugural year, when Dawn's clever trick broke his maiden in a $7,500 claimer. The two-year-old then won an allowance race by 11 lengths in track record time. Then Steve quickly trained his first Remington Park Stakes winner when Dawn's clever trick went on to win the $20,000 Tulsa Stakes. Asmussen finished the meet 31st in the trainer standings, however, with a wicked case of second-itis. He won six of 76, but had 13 seconds. In 1989, Dawn's clever trick returned to win the $25,000 Midwest City the Stakes. The final stages. Dawn's clever trick leads it over Tomahawk Lancer. It's Dawn's clever trick in the Midwest City. In 1990, Steve had as many seconds as he did first. His 10 wins put him on the edge of the top 10 trainers in the spring meet. It was in the fall meet of 1991 that Asmussen not only cracked into the top 10, he finished as the meet's leading trainer with 20 wins. He was also the leading owner. Throughout the early 90s, Steve would consistently finish in the top three of the Remington Park standings, winning the title again in 1995. But then Asmussen abruptly changed his course. What resulted was a calculated conquest of quality over quantity. For 10 straight years, from 1997 through 2006, Asmussen started just 55 horses at Remington Park. Yet, he had 14 wins, and remarkably, 13 of those 14 winners were stakes winners. And his 500th win of 2004 was also celebrated at Remington Park. In 2007, with increased purses derived from casino money, Steve returned to Remington Park in full force. He was the leading RP trainer that year, just as he has been every year this millennium. In 2009, Asmussen won 102 Remington Park races with an outstanding 28% win rate. He also tied for the leading owner. In 2011, his runners won three $100,000 Remington Park stake races. Years ago, the Vanberg dynasty of Hall of Fame trainers cut quite a swath across the land. Trainer Steve Asmussen has broken Van Berg records and he continues to overwhelm his racing competition from coast to coast. Beyond his numerous national champions, which of course include the fantastic filly Rachel Alexandra and the colossal Colt Curlin, horsemen and race fans have become to know that wherever the Asmussen blue and white webbings are hung, they will contain a range of competitive claimers, appealing allowance horses, and savory stake stars. When a gleaming thoroughbred with a braided mane comes prancing into the RP walking ring, there's a good chance it will soon be in the RP winner's circle. The might of the Asmussen Empire has been sustained and maintained here in Oklahoma City. Remington Park has been good for Steve Asmussen. Steve Asmussen has been good for Remington Park. And Oklahoma Horse Racing.